luggage is unclaimed and airlines can't find the owner, where does it go? Well, it turns out that the lost bags mostly end up in one place. It's a store in the small Alabama town of Scottsboro, northeast of Birmingham. It's called, strangely enough, unclaimed baggage. Here's NBC LX contributor Greg Bledsoe. We've had shrunken heads. We've had vacuum packed frogs. Truly, you never know what you're going to find. Every time you open a suitcase, it tells a story. So we're at Unclaimed Baggage in Scottsboro, Alabama. We take the orphaned suitcases, if you will, from the airlines after they've had 90 days to try to reunite with the original owner. But after that, those suitcases become salvage. Basically, you sell lost baggage. We do. In a nutshell, that's exactly what we do. It's amazing the volume that comes through there. Um, so we restock our sales floor with up to 7,000 items every single day. We have the largest laundry service in the state of Alabama. We clean up to 50,000 pieces or garments every single month. That's more than a typical laundromat would do in an entire year. There's also weird stuff that comes through here. There's some really weird stuff that comes through here. Live rattlesnake was in the side pocket of a duffel bag. Um, we have a cowboy hat signed by Muhammad Ali. There's the McDonald's arches. There's a life-size Tinkerbell in our children's department. She's made of paper mache. Beautiful instruments, African tribal vest. And the most expensive thing we have in our showcase right now is a, a women's ruby ring. The stone, the ruby, is 14 carats. And its appraised value is $42,000. There are things in the store that are too big to fit in anyone's suitcase. Yeah. 70% of everything in our store truly does come from a suitcase or through lost and found. We also are able to get something called unclaimed cargo through our contracts with airlines. Out in the lobby, there's, yeah. a, there's a large puppet. Yeah. So he is the one and only Hoggle from the Jim Henson movie Labyrinth. Truly the only one that existed. That seems like something somebody would come claim. So they know we have it, so it's okay. There's so many cool things that have come through here. Treasures, truly treasures. Such an interesting take on just humanity. What was that bad story? Like why, was, why that combination? Why does somebody travel with caulking? Who knows? And as long as there's lost items out there, lost property out there, we want to do our best to make sure that it gets a second life.